Oh, we all love a bit of Wasteland, don't we? Wasteland's always good. You know, right, there are only a few, like, fine things in your life that you can genuinely enjoy, and one of them things for me is definitely a shower. My friend, uh, Jake, I'll just call him Jake, he, uh, well, he's actually called Jake. He'd never been in a shower before. He'd only ever been in a bath. Got in the shower, and he literally stood in my shower for about 40, 45 minutes. He enjoyed the shower that much. It's funny, really, I got the thought in the shower, which is, it's like one vicious cycle. See, I always think uh, fucking absolutely insane, crazy shit when I'm in the shower. It's like I've been on acid or something. Not yesterday, the day before, I got this weird, weird thought. Like, you know how raisins are like dried grapes? Oh. <laughs> in style. Raisins are like dried grapes, right? So what does that make beef jerky? It's like a cow raisin, yeah? Just a fully dried out, shriveled up bit of a cow. Even though it's not a full cow. To find a shriveled full cow would be a bit freaky, to be honest. Like, the only time I ever use my actual brain is in the shower. Like, for example, shoes are just portable floors. And I don't know what that makes Crocs, because no one likes Crocs apart from, well, the people who wear them. But I don't know what that makes them. That probably makes them, like, portable AstroTurf. Oh, this ain't going well. One of the freakiest things that I've ever thought about while we're in the shower is your body is basically just a 3D printer, right? Your fingers are constantly growing nails, so it's just a really, really slow 3D printer. Slowly growing your hair, your nails. I know someone's going to think about your penis, but, you know, I won't exactly say it grows. It kind of, like, gets bigger, gets smaller. You know when people say, uh, because I've literally just read this on my Facebook feed? When people say, oh, I'm going to fuck the shit out of her. Think about it, that's a bit freaky, that, isn't it? Like, you're going to fuck the shit out of someone. Like, if you were to chat up a girl, and you go up to her and you'd be like, Oh, I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you, and like, Well, I can just go to the toilet for that, really, can't I? You're gonna use your dick as toilet roll? Like, what? What? No, you're okay. Uh, uh. Seriously, I love Modern Warfare 2. Such a good game, but there's nothing that annoys me more in Modern Warfare 2 than explosives. Explosives everywhere! It's like Danger Close. Danger Close were just... Danger close, noob tube, one man army. Reset, 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 wow. This is a thing that always pops into med. I wonder how low the sea levels would be. You know if there were no fish? Say if all the fish just miraculously disappeared. How low the sea levels would be? I mean if that happened, we could we could basically just global warming the fuck out of, out of this planet to be fair. If you're gonna be ignorant, you might as well. Just a weird thought that I have. I get I get strange things in my head. I never get anything like, hey, over the bush. But yeah. I get thoughts like that all the time. The shower's always a place where you, where you fucked up strange shit goes through your head. It's a very, th very therapeutic thing. Like, all day you could completely be, like, just numb in the head. Like, you're not thinking about anything. And you go and you get in the shower. And as soon as you step in that shower, every problem you ever, you've ever ran into in your life, everything, you somehow solve it. But the second you step out of your shower, or bath, which, whichever you're into, all them, like, solutions, they've just disappeared. What's the fucking point of them? And that sums up Modern Warfare 2. That netcode, though. Anyway, peace.